time. Is that from an 80s or a 90s commercial? 90s, I think. It's not even like chicken. What is it? It's like... It was a quick chicken meal. Like, add the chicken and you got like the seasoning or whatever. Oh, it's like a seasoning kind I just don't remember. Was it a box or a bag or what? Someone will answer that question. I'm sure they will. Chicken tonight. Uh, we are making chicken. Actually, I cheated. The chicken's already in the oven roasting at convection heat on a rack. Uh, we're gonna make it nice and crispy. We're gonna make a beautiful, silky, creamy, easy sweet potato and cauliflower mash with cheese and garlic and maybe a little kale salad. I got you guys a great promo code on my favorite keto bread. You see me talk about it all the time on uh, Instagram stories, on my videos, all that good stuff. Base Culture makes the most amazing, best tasting, best quality keto bread. I'm gonna make some cheese keto bread out of this guy right here. So. Let's get rocking and rolling. Leave comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Rose Honey is watching from Chicago. I got Arthur T. I'm see over here. Hello, hello. And uh, we just got back a little while ago from Sam's Club to make a 2021 What to Buy at Sam's Club Healthy Hall. And uh, we did it with Arthur T. with Bradley, a.k.a. Young Art. <laughs> um, and then tomorrow, a uh, video for What to Buy in Target is coming out 2021. Lots of stuff going on. I want to hook you up with all these healthy 2021 hauls so you buy the best quality products and ingredients at these grocery stores. Right, Rostina? Are you looking at yourself in your belly? Guten Abend. Are you looking at your belly? Yeah, I'm going to cut that up right now, sweetheart. You want to bring the uh, chair over here and come here, Rose? Come on up. Germany's in the house. We got lots of folks in the house. Do you, have a, do you have a keto recipe for pancakes? For pancakes? Yeah. Um, not really a recipe. I just tell you all to buy high key pancake mix on uh, Amazon. It's the best pancake mix. The plain, unflavored one. Rose is going to do comments. I got a moderator here. Rose, moderator! Write, write down high key. Moderator. Mount up, Rosie. Uh, Dee Brown uh, says Quincy and I are making Flavor City chicken nuggets for dinner. Ooh, nice, Dee. That sounds Brown. amazing. Let's move this away from you. Thank you. Louisiana in the house. Hello, right, Carol. Let's change the view. How do I change that? Let's Darla see. in Laporte, Indiana. Go. Welcome. View. Go live. Ooh, super chat, Becca Easley. What's Five dollars. Thanks for your chat. Reply to my question. You're welcome, Becca. Yeah, and by the way, she said it's annoying to watch the Rose videos on Facebook because they're in ads. That's how we make money. <laughs> and people love them on Facebook. They don't really love. The uh, videos on YouTube, they get pretty low views, but on Facebook, like her, our cheese bread video we pu published today has almost a million views. It's just, it's crazy. We got another super chat hello. from Jerry Castellone, BR999. Jerry, Jerry hello. Thanks, Jerry. I see my boy uh, Robbie from Idaho and his batch cock chicken. I'll be making that later this week. I got a pasture raised one from uh, Tribe Market. Well, hello there, Sherry. Call me Mr. Diamond. Mr. Who? Mr. Diamond. Uh, oh, nice. The diamond... Hunter. A diamond is forever. <laughs> Art's name is, literally means Jared, the, the gallery of jewelry. <laughs> that was actually really funny. <laughs> he went to Jared. Uh, so we're making the chicken. Uh, so there's a great company. Uh, you see me talk about them uh, with their bread at Whole Foods called Base Culture. They make one of the best keto grain-free gluten-free breads on the market and i got you guys a 20 percent off code so check these breads out here you'll probably rec uh, recognize them it's a woman-owned company from florida this is my favorite one cinnamon raisin bread paleo cheese bread has no cheese it just has nutritional yeast and their seven nut and seed bread is great too but look at these ingredients art and then show the macros. Show this me where. is how yeah. you do keto. Not with gluten and then backing it out with fiber. Not with soybean oil like the ones at Aldi and uh, Costco. With almond flour. No grains, almond butter, good quality oils. And the raisin bread only has, I believe, six grams of net carbs. The uh, seven nut and seed has four grams. It tastes great. So in the link down below, 20% off at Base Culture using Bobby 20. If you get $75 worth of bread, it's free shipping. Otherwise, it comes frozen, so I think it's $15. Or just go to Whole Foods and get the bread. It's great, uh, but it is a game changer. And you'll see, I like to griddle it in a ceramic pan with some butter. It gives it the most lovely texture. So thank you guys for uh, hooking everyone up with the uh, promo code. Check them out. Check it out. Oh, funk soul brother right about now. Is the app out yet? The app is not out yet. It's probably still gonna be end of February. But I probably get a dozen emails a day about that because we put it in the cookbook. And the cookbook, Dios mio, we were on live on Friday making bolognese, which was amazing, by the way. 
the cookbook got up to what? Someone remind me, 48, 44? Okay. On Saturday or Sunday, the cookbook got up to 22 on Amazon. It was knock, knock, knocking on the door of Michelle Obama's book to overtake her. Now we're back around 50, which is amazing. Happy belated birthday to Darla, who turned 43 yesterday, because nice, she wishes Dar you a happy early birthday. Thank you. My tomorrow. 43rd birthday is tomorrow also, Darla. Looking forward to that. Desi's making me a paleo funfetti birthday cake. And a super chat here from Ana Maria ah, Pelaya, my girl. $4. Hey, guys, when you moving? Johnny moving? Wait. Hey, guys, when are you moving? Is Johnny moving? Thank you, Ana Maria. I'm saving my money for my book. Longtime fan from Maryland. Hope all is well. Uh, John will look into moving after we get settled. We'll find a nice apartment for him. And we're moving on uh, Tuesday. Tuesday, we're out of here. Like Shania Twain. I'm out of here. But right now, I'm peeling sweet taters. Uh, how do you spell the pancake mix again? For, oh, bonjour, mon ami, Sophie from Montreal. High key, one word, H-I-G-H-K-E-Y. I'll have a promo code in about two weeks, but get the plain, uh, unflavored pancake mix. It is the best thing since sliced keto bread. Guten Abend, Ben Parkholt, also in Deutschland. Nice. Uh, is there a Bobby approved jardinera? Um, someone asked me that too. I haven't seen one yet because they're usually packed in cruddy oils. Just find one that um, it's tough too because a lot of them use peppers and peppers are on the dirty dozen. So I guess the answer would be no, unfortunately. Jardinera. I should do a Flav City Jardinera. We're almost finished making the second Flav City product, which will come out this summer. It's uh, keto lemonade and keto strawberry lemonade. And then after that, me and Erica have some really cool ideas going into food spaces and kitchenware. We got a super chat from Jen H, Canadian dollars, five. Bobby Hook, a girl oh, like no, with Jen. that bread. I looked and can't get it here. Please help me. Well, you know what? In Canada, you might want to get the unbun since they're from Canada. I know Jen, she's in Canada. All my Canadian friends can't get a lot of the same products we have. And then poor Jen, her signed cookbook by all of us, including Rose, has been held up with a post office for weeks, but hopefully it gets there, Jen, it's such a great plan. Got another super chat from Canada, six ninety nine from Carsto. We know Carsto. Happy birthday, all the best to you, Desi and Rose, in 2021. Thank you so much, the big 43 birthday is manana. I can't wait, because Desi's making uh, the same cake she made Rose for her birthday. It's a paleo, gluten-free, grain-free, funfetti cake. That is loco en la cabeza. It's delicious with three layers and raspberry jam. And, Filling, it's freaking delicious. We got the kale hacker here, and that, uh, that's from Wyandotte. Hello, Bobby and Art. Happy 12th day of Christmas. 12 drummers drumming. Thank you, Annette. Annette was so uh, cute. She sent me a picture of herself with the cookbook. She got it last week, and she was so inspired, she made Dusty's uh, sticky date pudding immediately. And she sent me a picture, and that looks scrubbed. Too. Chris Kennedy is pointing out that tomorrow is Rowan Atkinson's birthday, Mr. Bean himself. Oh, wow. I was never a fan of Mr. Bean personally, but that's cool. I'm down. Do you guys ever know that the beginning of that song, that song was in Latin, and the words literally translate to, Behold the man who is a bean. Are you serious? Yeah. That's cool. Pretty, pretty. Arco Selfie style, say hello. Ooh, I will do that. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. There he is. place called Vertigo. Art got a haircut, y'all. Art got a haircut. Oh, man. Now i got to catch up with these messages. Whoa, we got another super chat here. Sherry Faroli, $10, new fan. Share bear. Our family is loving your second cookbook. Just ordered the first. We are all feeling so much better, and I'm down five pounds. Sending love. Well, thank, thank you, you. Share bear. The community is constantly growing. Across now Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, we're at 3.5 million, which is crazy to me. Totally crazy. Um, yeah, so Sherry just talked about the book. So many of you guys know about it, but it's reaching so many people every day on Amazon because it's ranked in the top 100. Five ingredients, semi-homemade meals. All my shopping knowledge is in this book. So I tell you exactly what products, ingredients to look for at the store and stock your pantries with, with 50 plus five ingredient, easy, healthy meals. I put the link right below here, Arch. Check it out. Right below the base culture uh, promo code. Just click right here. I mean, first of all, we're at exactly about a month now. To have 1,200 five-star ratings is loco. And then to be ranked 58 out of all 3 million books is crazy. Number one, number one. I mean, this is crazy, guys. So thank you for that. Also down here is 
this link. This is all my kitchen gear. In case you wanna know what I use, this is all my kitchen gear. This is all Desi and Rose's gear. And this is the base culture link. So click that. I recommend trying the raisin bread and the cheese bread and use code Bobby20, Bobby20 for 20% off. Trish says I look like Willem Dafoe. That's uh, only the second time I've heard that. Yeah, right. This year. And it's um, free this shipping year. if you get $75 uh, or more. Jill Chopsky is in the house. Hi, Art and Bobby. There's my gal, Jill. Coffee pot, very long hair from how you used to get your hair cut. That is very true. And actually, man, like the last time we were on a live stream, my hair was even longer than now. That's right. Jill's been making some great meals and showing me on Facebook. She made a really cool cheese and egg taco for breakfast uh, this past weekend. That was really cool, Jill. Expert Hawkeyes. I've been to uh, Iowa City once for a Illinois versus Iowa game. I was not happy with the results, but I had a fun weekend. <laughs> All right. Cauliflower and uh, sweet potato mash with cheese, butter, and garlic. We'll get that in the water. How much Salt garlic? Oil. Like 40, 40 cloves of garlic? No, maybe like uh, two. Hey, Rose Honey, can you say hi to everyone? Hi, everyone. Rose Honey P is in the house. Rose Honey and I have been cooking up a storm. If you're not following Flav City page on Facebook, that's where I post all the Rose Honey cooking videos. And Rose and I made a lemon cake over the weekend and we posted it. We made Brazilian cheese rolls from the cookbook and the lemon cake was from the cookbook too. And people are loving it. I don't really post them on YouTube, someone asked, because people don't really watch them that much here, but it's perfect for Facebook. Come stand by Daddy. Oh! Right, Rose Honey Pea? Okay. Rose Han. Huh? My sweet labets? Yeah, Daddy needs some garlic, too. You're 100% correct. Thank you. I'm going to drop a few cloves of garlic in there. Mm-hmm. All the packing and the boxes are making Rose a little antsy. She's kind of freaked out. What's going on here? <laughs> we're going to, we're moving. We'll be out of here, you guys, on Tuesday. Southwest, flight number something something. Richard Marcup, we're going down on Southwest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. expert Hawkeyes. I am a fighting Illini fan, and I would say Iowa is probably one of the main rivals when it comes to football. Northwestern's a big rival, too. Was in Illinois in a bowl game this year or no? Uh, I don't think so. I could be wrong though, but I didn't really keep. Yeah, I don't. I don't pay attention. Keep up with it this year. Yeah, tough for me to follow college football these days. Your team uh, won their bowl game. I don't know which one, and then they broke the trophy in the locker room. Oh, that's right. That's the guy you told me. That's so funny. That was yeah. Probably more memorable than if they hadn't. You want to give me a pinch of salt? I'll put it in the pot. Thank you. Here, pinch a little bit of salt in there. Thank you. Thank you. Grazie mille, mamushka. You can hear the tape being packed by mama. Right, Rose Honey Bunny? Yeah, expert Hawkeyes. I was referring to Bobby's team, Wisconsin. They're the ones that broke the trophy. Yeah. I barely have time to watch NFL football, and I'm fine with that, but something about college football, it's like once you graduate and fast forward like five years or whatever, it's like... It's hard for me to, I don't know any of the players, they're so much younger than me, it's just hard for me to relate to watching uh, college football. I'm just a caveman, right Art? That's right. Wow, it's 45 minutes on the chicken. Come back here Art, let's check it out. Yes, sweetheart, my sweet love. Okay, so I did convec bake. To Ooh, make somebody's going to make happy. very happy so it circulates the air all around, but look in there Art. I put the chicken on a wire rack set inside a sheet tray. Why did I do that Arthur? Because uh, you want some good air circulation. Circulation. The air goes all around, kind of air fryer style. And let's take a look inside real quick. Careful of the steam. So we still need some more time. It's not there yet, but it's looking it's look good. I'd say. Are you going to leave the child proofing on there for the future owner? <laughs> I don't think they would like that. That could be a selling factor. Already child ready. I think I'll do 10 minutes and then kick the broiler on and then brush on. This is amazing. The old Primal Kitchen barbecue sauces weren't my favorite flavor-wise. The mango jalapeno or the new Hawaiian barbecue, amazing. Avocado oil-based, no added uh, cane sugar, 100% paleo. This stuff is amazing. Uh, somebody just asked, Terrence just asked, did you see that Chipotle is doing cauliflower rice now? It's so funny you said that because last night, uh, in one of the rare times for dinner, I got Chipotle for Desi and I because I was filming all day and didn't have time. 
and I saw the cauliflower rice there. It's a $2 upcharge. It's tasty. They actually griddle it there and add seasoning and herbs. The guy was so stingy though. It was like a little scoop. And I'm like, can I get more? And they're like, well, and so like it was very, very little. I had to cut it with some brown rice. But by the time you get the uh, $2 upcharge of the cauliflower rice, and then the $2 upcharge of the guacamole, it's like a $12 bowl, but it was good. It sounds like more material for Sebastian Maniscalco now. Yeah, that's right. Um, what would you say the ratio of florets to stumps was? You have to think there's going to be a lot of stumps in a massive commercial operation like that, but I could be wrong. Yeah, uh, it was tough for me to say, but yeah, Art said it all right. They're not doing prime, uh, prime cut prime uh, cauliflower. florets like uh, I do it, but it was good. Wagyu cauliflower. Yeah, it wasn't like uh, mushy or anything. They, they did it right. Whoa, Rostina, my sweet love. All right, so chicken's in the oven, cauliflower, sweet potato, garlic, gonna boil. When that comes out, we'll drain it. We'll blend it up with a big knob of Kerrygold butter, a little bit of coconut milk, just to make it like super creamy without added dairy. And then I'll get some, a uh, little bit of cheese. Cheese. <laughs> that big block of Kerrygold cheese that Rose was like, nibbling on that whole uh, Brazilian cheese roll uh, video on Facebook. And then I'll start griddling some keto based culture bread. This is honestly a bread that I eat about four or five days a week. It's a little pricey, but with my 20% off coupon using the link down below, it's great. So once again, Art, this is the seven, and, uh, seven nut and seed bread. This is what I'm gonna use tonight, the cheese bread. But this cinnamon raisin bread is a game changer. It tastes like the cinnamon raisin bread you grew up with, with garbage ingredients but it's not garbage. And uh, look at these ingredients once again. Phenomenal stuff. This is how keto should be done. I mean, are you kidding me? Cashew butter, hemp protein powder. So we're gonna start uh, griddling that. So click my link down below. Uh, $75 or more gets you free shipping and Bobby 20 gets you 20% off. Amazing bread. We got a little bit of cream cheese on top, forget about it. We got Rayan or Ryan, not sure how it's pronounced. Who's going to win, Bears or Saints? Last time we said that the Bears will win and they lost. Yeah, the Saints are going to win. Don't worry about that. I think the Saints will win. The Saints are marching. The Saints. Uh, speaking of bread, expert Hawkeyes asked if there are any good spreadable butters for toast or sandwiches or something like that. Have you ever tried that Kerrygold spreadable one that's got some oil in it? Um, I haven't, but, uh, well, yeah, one has canola oil is to be avoided. The other one has no oil. But, yeah, that one looks good. Rachel Murray, $5. Rachel. Hi, family. Did you see the new Gochujang menu items from Shake Shack? Are you Shack? serious? Ooh, I'm going to have to try that. Thank you, Rachel. They have Gochujang there? It's going to make Brad insanely happy. Natasha Ediger, $5. Love your cookbook. So Whole Foods is sold out of the guajillo simmer sauce for the five-ingredient chili that I want to make. What I, else can you use I wonder instead? why. To be honest, you'd have to find another simmer sauce that uses good quality oil and no cruddy ingredients. Um, I would probably wait till it comes back in or order online, or there are a couple Frontera ones that are clean-ish. Check that out there. Yeah, that, that's good stuff. See, no one really knew about that. Or, say, it wasn't widely known, but then people start getting it with the book and they're like, I didn't know about this. The flavor's amazing. How do you make chili with five ingredients and get a depth of flavor? By using a simmer sauce that has guajillo, ancho, garlic, all these great flavors. Arwen, fun to find you. I wasn't sure if I'd be finding you going live today. Anyways, greetings from Glastonbury. Arwen, nice to see you. By the way, so I've been using this uh, Symbiotic Probiotic from Seed. Really, really good stuff. It's a little pricey. I'm going to see if they want to uh, do a collaboration. If you haven't heard about Seed, they make probably one of the best probiotics that actually work on the market. And I'm super happy. I didn't know about it, but my contact who used to work at Thrive Market now works there. And she sent me a bottle. It was like... You probably want to work with us because this is great. And I probably do because it's great stuff. Ramesh is in the house. Ramesh, thank you for sending your card. We didn't need it, Ramesh, but I might use it in the future. Okay, so this is what I do in the morning. I griddle the keto bread. You can toast it, but I find the texture of griddling it in a pan with a little bit of butter or ghee is delectable. Let me give a shout out here to Alex. There's your shout out. You want to shout out? Ho well, home homemaking and happy says, can you say hi to my son, Alex? So Alex, we're glad you're watching. So, I'll do welcome. what they did in Family Ties. Yo, Alex. <laughs> Rose, say hi to everyone. They wanted to say hi to you. Oh, sure, sure. Hi, everyone. <laughs> what was this? 
my chipolati bowl with cauliflower rice and avocado came out to sixteen dollars. Yeah, see what I'm talking about, Sophia. That's what yeah. Sophia says. A little, a little pricey, a little pricey. The worst ever was a couple weeks ago. Art and I got Chipotle from a location we don't normally go to. Big and mistake. It was a big mistake because I got a um, carnitas bowl because the pork there was non-GMO. It was the smallest scoop of but carnitas. You said that, told that story. I told that story? No, I told the story about cauliflower rice. <laughs> Jesse's fact checking me here. No, you said it's gonna be twelve dollars because you're no, now I'm talk rice. No, now I'm talking about uh, something different. Is that, an, is that a swing and a miss or a call was it a swing and a miss or a called strike just now? I'm sorry, what happened? This whole interruption, was that a swing and a miss or a called strike? Uh I don't know what it was. It was called uh Jesse's fact checking me, like Facebook. <laughs> um but even the smallest scoop. And I rolled my eyes and while Art was looking at me. So I had to get double meat because it was the smallest, chintziest scoop ever. Uh, do you get the bread discount at Thrive? Uh, it's vanilla ice. It's no, I don't the think same. they sell this at Thrive Market. It's only at um, grocery stores. You can check out their store locator or on their website. Sure, Troy, you're in the house. Is conventional butter better than vegetable oil? Yes, absolutely. Stay away from vegetable oil. So this is what the, uh, the cheese bread looks like, Art. Can you say cheese the way you want to? Cheese. Thank you. Cassie Davis says $10. Thank Happy Cass. birthday. Thank Happy you. birthday. Tomorrow is my 43rd birthday, y'all. This is making me a funfetti cake. When is the first Florida live stream? I've seen uh, that question a couple times here. Um, It will be sometime next week. It probably will be at, uh, at Erica's house because I won't have my stuff shipped yet unless it's later in the week. So I'll figure it out and then... We'll be good to go. Sure, Troyer, 1999, super chat. And Ramesh wants to know, are we on for Saturday? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're having a scanning party on Saturday, Ramesh. I will let everyone know tomorrow. I want to get one more in with all the MVPs from previously. Uh, stores, we'll go to Target and just scan away. Shar Troyer says happy birthday as well. Thank you, Shar, for Thanks Michigan, for that super my chat. Ladybug also says happy birthday. Thank so you does all. Michelle Oriol. Thank you, thank you. Huge Cena, birthday person. Guten Abend, making Kali pizza tonight. Oh, nice. That sounds lovely. Thank y'all. People always say, like, or Desi's like, what do you want to do on your birthday? It's like, I don't want to do a big thing, like dinner. You know, same thing as always. I'm not a big fan of making a big deal out of the big day. The big, I'm a big salad on a big day. We don't have a big salad. I know, I don't. I'll give you two big, two little ones. Say hello. <laughs> what was that? Hi. What? Tell everyone. I'm busy, man. Tell everyone what you're making for me tomorrow, please. You already, you already told. told. Oh, no, tell the details. The custard, the flavorings. The, the... Okay. It's going to be a paleo layered cake with vanilla sponge soaked with uh, maple syrup and orange juice, raspberry sauce, and vanilla custard. With sprinkles on top. Keto, keto sprinkles. Keto sprinkles, and I think that's it. That's what I'm talking about. See, I, I didn't give it justice. That was justice. Jessie's been a packing machine. She's a packing, packing, packing. She's a packing machine. <laughs> uh, Carol, I can't find those messages once they're passed. It's really tough to go back to a 449. Maybe you can post it again. Sorry. And Carol says happy birthday. Oh, thank you, Carol. Uh, Ash, Desi, please film your cake process. Yeah, I don't have time for that. She said no. It'll be on stories, though. I, I already, if you guys want the cake recipe, uh, go to my safe stories for Rose's salads, and I post it on her cake recipe. The actual, the, really? Lala girl well, says there's a... it's about difference. Lala says there's a birthday there boy in the house. Lala, thank you so much. I hope your husband is doing better. We've been praying for him since he got corona. June Nakata, Judy. 1999. Happy birthday, Bobby. Nice, Joni. Thank you. Uh, Sherry. Oh, nice. Sherry has the same sweatshirt as you do, Dessa. I got the same shirt. Uh, and Art's wearing the same one. Sherry shirt. Clark, $5. Happy birthday, Bobby. I made the curry stew and did Ooh. it with turkey meatballs. Ooh, nice one, Sherry. Maria Martinez, $5. Will there be a Bobby-approved store? When will there be a Bobby-approved store? Oh, God. I don't know about that. Seems like a lot of work. How about uh, just, yeah. we'll keep doing what we're doing, Bobby Approved app. Do How about we keep yeah. baking Bobby Approved products? Obviously the first one is the Keto Lemonade or the Keto, um, 
uh, immune boosting tea. Second product is keto lemonade. Then we're moving into foods, cookware. So we'll make it, other stores can carry it. How about that? What's the bread code for free shipping? Uh, there, well, it's Bobby 20 for 20% off, but for free shipping, you have to spend $75. To be honest, it's worth it because shipping otherwise is $16. And I'm telling you, you will go gaga at the bread, especially the raisin bread, the cheese bread, and they have some really good nut butter, the almond butters back here with premium ingredients if you're interested. Bobby 20, click that link down below and use my promo. Sarah Moore says, mom has pneumonia. Well, I hope she gets Ooh, well Sarah. soon. I hope I she will. gets better. That sounds like a bummer. Rachel, oh, we got some back-to-backers here. Rachel Murray, $25, happy birthday. Oh, thanks, Rach. Gen H, five Canadian dollar, happy birthday tomorrow. Bobby, have a live with all your fans. I'm sure Desi won't mind doing the cooking. Yeah, exactly. We, we Desi need would a tell live with her cooking that. and you helping. Oh, sweetie, you're so cute. Yeah, I think Desi would not be happy about that. I wanted her to chronicle the, uh, this is good, the um, cake, but she's like, no, I don't have time. But she started part of it today. She'll do the rest tomorrow. Bobby, I sometimes try to answer questions on your behalf. I'm going to uh, delegate this question to me over to you. Hashtag ask art. Would you ever go vegan? <laughs> Would art ever go vegan? You answer it. You know in me the, well. In the words of uh, Randy from American Idol, that's a hard no, dog. Hard no. Bobby knows. <laughs> I'm going to paint this uh, paleo barbecue sauce on in a minute. Ooh. And it's a nice color on that uh, chicken. Holly wants to know if I have a favorite Seinfeld episode. That is tough. Ooh, that's a tough that's one. That's really tough. I don't even know if I can get down to a top five. Mm -hmm. uh, Amanda, it's always thrivemarket.com slash Bobby. Thrivemarket.com slash Bobby. And if you sign up today, you'll not only get a free gift, but click over to the Whole30 sale. They still have 30% off all Whole30 products, including Kettle and Fire, including Fourth and Heart Ghee, uh, all that good stuff that I love. So Sina has a question. Hello, Herzlichen Glückwunsch. I botched that. <laughs> Do you have a Sam's near you when you move to Florida? I would love to see a Sam's haul from down there. Oh, you know what? I haven't looked. Can someone look up, is there a Sam's Club near uh, Boca Raton? That is a good question. Can you ask Bobby what his link is to join Thrive? I'd love to yeah, join Yeah, just read it off. Thrivemarket.com slash Bobby. Take advantage of that Home 30 sale. It ends today. Soup Nazi is shark hey, oh, favorite episode. No shirt, That's a good one. <laughs> the chicken roaster, the Kenny Rogers That's chicken, right. is high on my list. Oh, Jill Schakowsky with a forty-three dollars super chat. You're so sweet. Happy birthday tomorrow. Made the tikka masala chicken with mama masala sauce. It was the best, most tender oh, flavor. Good. Oh, that is such a great recipe from the cookbook. It is gangbusters. Oh, Lala says her husband's still sick, but hopefully the worst is over. Okay, Keep good. Right. You like to praying. hear that? No, you didn't miss any announcements, Lala. Okay, so come back here real quick, Arthur. I'm flipping the paleo keto cheese bread here. This is the way to do it, in a ceramic or nonstick pan with a little bit of ghee. It gets a nice crust, but stays very, very um, fluffy. Coral Springs isn't anywhere near where you're going, is it? I uh, Coral Springs is down in like the southwest tip or whatever. Coral Springs. Someone told me Coral Springs. I don't think it's that close, but not too far. Okay. Let me just grab the chicken out of here. Ray Farrell in the house. Better late than never. Look at this. Our skin's getting really happy there. Nice. I'm going to put this down. Yeah, I'm getting happy. I don't want it to overcook, but in the meantime, i got to check my... Can kids drink your immunity tea? Um, Over the age, I'd say, of eight. Yes, because it's pure monk fruit in there. It's not monk fruit sweetener cut with erythritol. I have to see if my cauliflower is cooked through here. Carsto, the marine biologist episode is a good one, too. I mean, there's so many. How can you pick one? Is that a one? titleist? <laughs> well, hold on, one, huh? How can you pick one? It's so hard. Coral Springs is half hour-ish to Boca. Oh, that's okay. not bad. I'm, I'm thinking of something else then. Because I heard there's a really good... Uh, Cape Coral. That's what I'm thinking of. Mm. That's way out there. I heard there's a really good... Um, you guys said uh, Costco and Coral Springs, too. All right, this is done. Uh, Verdadero says, please do adaptogen recipes. That sounds like something I would ask for. <laughs> Art's obsessed with adaptogens. He pretty much lives for them. I'm coming out with a hand lotion called Obsessed with Adaptogens, actually. <laughs> so let's strain... This, but you know what? I'm gonna save. You know, I'm not gonna save any water. I don't need to. We'll strain this. I have to do this in batches. Wow, this is gonna make Laura. Laura says happy birthday. Of mess. Thank you, Laura. I'll be 43 at the strike of midnight. Do you ever steam your veggies using the instant pot? Um, no, I'm. I'm not a fan of steamed anything. I just feel like it's so easy to overcook. There's no flavor. Uh, I'm all about roasting. 
or sauteing or grilling on old Fireball back in the day, you know? Fireball. Rest in peace, Fireball. I was thinking of that thing earlier today, too. Ah, <laughs> nice. So. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of the pan here. So what I'll do in the morning is I'll do this with either the cheese bread or the raisin bread and then schmear Kite Hill, uh, Kite Hill almond cream cheese on top and then a little bit of that Crofter's organic low sugar uh, marmalade. Ooh la la. Zakea, uh, ask Bobby, will you do another app scanning party at the store? I'm doing uh, one this weekend on Saturday, uh, but it's only going to be for people who have come before. Does that name sound familiar? It's like, hey, have you been there before? I'll send an email out tomorrow. Dirk is going to come. Ramesh is going to come. We're going to go to Target. Hey, we can get up to 20 people. I don't care. We'll scan everything. Say one little, one last uh, hurrah. Maybe Art will come down for it. And um, we'll scan. What's the most memorable college football moment for, of watching in your lives? Me? Both, I'm, asking both of us. Oh. Uh, Honestly, I have no idea. I think for me, Illinois finally got to a bowl game. My freshman year, lost every game. Sophomore year, I think we lost every game except the last one. And then finally, like my junior, senior year, we had our first bowl game. I didn't go, but it was nice to watch it on TV. Well, actually, it's not football, but basketball. When I was in Madison, the Badgers unexpectedly made it to the Final Four, and we just went crazy. Everyone stormed like the Cole Center. Like that night they made the Final Four, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, I was pretty excited when Illinois got to the uh, championship against North Carolina. I wasn't yeah, happy, was happy with the championship game, but uh, it was nice to get there. Exciting ride. One shining moment, as Luther Vandross might say. <laughs> okay, uh, cauliflower sweet potato is in here. A shtickle of salt. We'll probably need more later on. A few cracks of pepper. Any birthday memories you would like to share, Bobby? <laughs> um... Not really. Coffee Pot wants to know if they had the jump around song when you went to school at Wisconsin. Yes, yes. My, actually, the one thing I hated about going to games is you have to stand all game on the bleachers. And my back was hurting, it was making it hard to cavell, as Larry Dave would say. At the end of the game, then you walk two miles back to your dorm or whatever. It's like, oh my God, I'm, my back hurts, Rose. My back. Rose, honey, bunny. Yeah, the mash. You want to taste it when we're done? Yeah, okay, so butter is in here. We'll put a little bit of coconut milk. I'll take some of that Kerrygold grass-fed cheese from Costco. That's your most embarrassing moment. Yeah, for me, I say a lot of stupid stuff on the stream, so that's probably my most embarrassing moment. I can't put it down to one, though. I say a lot of stupid stuff sometimes. Oh, boom. I'm never embarrassed. I share everything with you guys. Yeah, we're grating the cheese, right? Oh, Michael the Corsi, we say happy birthday from Calabria, Italy. Thanks oh, for Calabria, us. nice. I can't wait to get back to uh, Italy once travel gets back to normal. And I want Flight City fans to meet up and show us around. The company who makes that keto wine in Tuscany wants us to come during harvest season, and then maybe we'll make our way down to Calabria in Sicily. That would be lovely. Uh, what else here? Rosie's reaching. There you go, Rosie. Um, and the garlic is in there. Mm, 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 mm. I think we're good. Let's blend it up. We got a super chat from Cena, four ninety nine. Hubby requesting cookbook recipes daily. He is hooked on the healthy train. Thank you. Thoughts on intermittent fasting plus your healthy eating? Yeah, I haven't really done it, but. I'm a big fan of IF. I think Desi's a big fan. It really helps reset your body. That plus healthy cooking, keto paleo, unstoppable course. Uh, happy birthday from Romania, Europe. Marianne watching. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Marianne. The jet engine. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Ooh, we get some chips. We got the big bag of olive oil chips today from Sam's Club. And I recommend checking out my stories. They have for a limited time a big bag of bunuelos, the Siete Cinnamon Bunuelos. Oh my God. It's the best deal ever. Oh, look how beautiful that is, Art. That's lovely. 
Happy birthday from the Bay Area and Thank La you so Lane. Much. Wow, we got almost 1,100 people watching for a last second live stream that I didn't even schedule. Oh, yeah. Is there a diet or foods that can help heal or reverse autoimmune disorders? Well, I'm not a doctor, but I think for autoimmune, a low inflammatory diet is a must. What fits under that? Paleo, yes. Keto, even more. I would really go to start on a strict low dairy, moderate fat, clean keto diet, and then transition over to paleo. Clean meaning no palm oil, canola oil, like a lot of these products like Slim Fast Keto are just garbage. Um, but yes, keto is lovely for, uh, for um, immune issues. Where's is Paul Sipple? Should have had him over, to be honest. I kind of dropped the ball there. Uh, I would have loved this meal. Okay, so Adrian says, it's past oh, midnight here in, Do in Bavaria. So technically, I can most safely <laughs> say, ah, nice. alles Gute zum Geburtstag. Happy birthday. I appreciate that. Pardon my Rose, French. Try some? Let's not put it on the floor. Try this, Rosie. Do you have potato chips in your mouth? That's really good. Do but you I'll guys approve sea moss? I don't. Bobby, do you? Irish sea moss? Yeah, if it's quality, it's fine. Why don't you, Art? Oh, sure. What's that? Uh, I don't, what was the question? Oh, you, don't, you said you don't, you don't approve of sea moss. Yeah, I don't have an opinion, so I figured I'd disapprove. Oh. <laughs> you said, do you guys approve? I'm like, I don't. But <laughs> That's really good, y'all. Really lovely. Should do one Plant, blend. Plant-based collagen, please. Sun warrior, if you can't have animal-based. Sun warrior. Dinner's pretty much done. I'm gonna paint on some BBQ sauce now. Yeah, Adrian Ben. German's on my list of languages to learn, but odds of it happening anytime soon. We got a ton of emails over the weekend about uh, buying our condo. No one's really followed through yet, but before we actually put it on the market, if someone wants to buy our two bedroom condo here in. Uh, the Heart of Boys Town in Chicago, email support at flavecity.com. That's support at flavecity.com, our beautiful two bedroom, two bath, 1400 square foot condo with a parking spot. Zakea asks if I have seen the nacho cheese balls. Yeah, Dirk D. Brown hooked me up with a barrel of them one time. Well, what did you see at Sam's Club today? Uh, Sam's has the cheddar and the uh, white cheddar. White. They got both. White cheddar. That's oh, in a massive, massive thing. Crazy. White cheddar. Insane in the membrane. Is there going to be a live stream on Friday? People want to know. Uh, yeah, this week, absolutely. You know it. Art, do you know when the Thrive Market sale ends? I don't, but Bobby might. Today. So, uh, it's the whole 30, 30% off. So all Primal Kitchen, all um, Kettle and Fire, 4th and Hard Ghee, thrivemarket.com slash Bobby. And act quick. Amazing stuff. Oh, Joseph Finley in the house. Hold on to that feeling. Art, read my email? Yeah, I apologize, man. I saw a squirrel and I got distracted. <laughs> I'll write back to you. Sorry, man. Check it out, Art. So we're putting a little bit of that Primal Kitchen. This one or the Hawaiian barbecue sauce. They're newish. They're the best. I don't... No barbecue on yours. I don't love the old flavored ones, the originals, but these are just spectacular. And we'll pop it under the broiler so it gets kind of sticky and burnt. When, when are you making the bunielos? Happy well, birthday. I, I won't be making bunielos. I'll stick to the buying siete for that. Gracias. Uh, not too spicy? The no, sauce? it's definitely not. I'm a good gauge of that because I don't love extreme spice. And uh, these are not too spicy. What's your guilty pleasure food? Someone asked me that before. Honestly, I don't really have one. When I cheat, I don't cheat with like cruddy ingredients or foods burgers. when's the last time i had a shake shack not most well, not recent really enough slow. yeah I, but i won't even do it anymore because i know they cook everything in soybean oil oh but, come on do yeah, it but, it's a guilty pleasure but i haven't even okay if i had to choose one i'd say a double smoke shack burger from a shake shack there we go that would be my guilty pleasure but we make pizzas at home they're with paleo crust and grass-fed cheese and instead of getting like you know papa john's better ingredients better Pizza. Papa John. But I mean. Finley says Doritos. <laughs> yeah, I just don't eat that kind of stuff. It's just not part of my diet. Oh, yeah, let's pop this back under the broiler. Just for a few minutes. Still at 400? 
Uh, or 475. Well, some broil. Yeah, broil, broil. So it's kind of like a medium ish broil. A shtickle of broil. Is that possible? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> but I'm no expert. And then we got the mash. You might be able to do a stickle of broil. <laughs> then we got our, our cheese bread. Look at this art. So this is the keto cheese bread from Base Culture. This is why I griddle it, because it's really soft in the inside, but it has that nice crunch. Amazing ingredients. I've talked about zero net carb bread at Aldi, at Costco. It's made with soybean oil. It's made with wheat and gluten. Yeah. It's not organic. And they back it out with all of the fiber. It's a joke. Here, Rose, try this. Come here, Rosie. Try some bread. This is how you do it with almond butter, with coconut oil, with real ingredients. It is pricier than the one at Aldi, but the ingredients, when you read them, are great. So, once again, 20% off a of base culture, a Florida-based, our future home, woman-owned company, a really nice lady named Jordan, owns the company. She just had a baby. So if you click the link right here, Art, and use my code, so use code Bobby20, base culture, here's their breads. I say a must are the paleo cheese bread and cinnamon raisin bread. And if you spend $75, you'll get free shipping because it comes in a um, frozen big box. So trust me, it's great. Get the $75 so you get the free shipping. And uh, also down here is the cookbook link, which I said before, this weekend, it got as high as 22 on Amazon. We were just about to take out Michelle Obama for, with her book, uh, but uh, we didn't quite do it. 58 is amazing. So thank you for that. Continue to spread the love about the cookbook. Click the link right there to order it. My kitchen gear here and Desi and Rose's gear here. Do they have a vegan based culture? Yeah, this is vegan. Everything's vegan. Even though it's cheese bread, it's made with nutritional yeast. There's no animal products. Jen H with a $5 Canadian Jen, my super girl. chat. Art, are you going to tell us yes or no? I will tell you. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. You're probably snarling right now my answer, but I answered your question. <laughs> Almost ready, Rosie, my sweet love. What are you going to do with the grill? The grill's gone. The grill I gave it gone? away on uh, Craigslist a week, a week ago. Would you eat a McDonald's hamburger for a million dollars? Yes, I would. Well, every, every man has a price. Uh, everyone like has a price, like uh, Ted DiBiase used to say. Does base culture have meat, uh, bagels? No. You want some more bread, Rose? I see a big booger in your nose. I see uh, a big booger. Come here. Haley says, I think base culture has eggs, so not vegan. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. It does have eggs. I forgot about that. Um, I'm not sure if they all have eggs, but yeah, let me see if the, uh, this one has eggs too. Yeah, I'm sorry. They might have all have eggs. Yeah. So no, not vegan. Thank you. Amy just ate McDonald's today. What do you have, Amy? I want to do a video about, do you think it'd be a popular video to say like the healthiest thing at McDonald's or maybe the opposite, like stop eating these foods at McDonald's and eat this one instead? Oh, well, here's a good question. Does Bobby have a horchata recipe? I don't have a horchata recipe. Didn't you make something-ish when we had the booze episode? Oh, I made a... Uh, Pino, or a horchata margarita, right? Yeah, I made right? a horchata margarita, which so was amazing. So not really a... Yeah, actually, it's in the new cookbook. The horchata margarita is right here. It's uh, made with uh, monk fruit simple syrup. And so it is um, keto and diabetic friendly, even though it's a uh, horchata. It's a basic... Um, a basic uh, margarita or horchata. Can't find it. Can't Adrian, find did the, it's in here. Did the McDonald's in Germany have any like uniquely German uh, menu items that we don't have here in the states? Uh, Gochi Chang wants to know if you decided to drive so that you could stop and see him. No, but we did get a great price on a car shipper, Reindeer Auto. And it turns out like they're all Flav City fans now, and the uh, president's uh, mom watches my videos. Uh, for Costco. So yeah, if you're looking to ship a car, tell them Flav City sent you a reindeer auto. We'll give you a great rate. It's only like 900 bucks from here to Boca Raton. Finley says, oh no, Bobby dropped a WWE phrase. To be the man, you gotta beat the man. <laughs> I didn't say that, did I? I don't know. No, I think I, I did a DiBiase one. <laughs> yeah, I think Jill Chopsky likes the margarita recipe. <laughs> Go to Jang says, yes, they do art. It's called beer in German McDonald's. <laughs> People want to see the McDonald's video. Interesting. Oh, 152. Thank you. German McDonald's has beer. Wow. Oh, that's kind of cool. Are you done with this? It's food. Yeah, some people can't handle uh, monk fruit sweetener because of the erythritol. 
So Lana, that's because you're, you're intolerant to. Pure monk fruit you can handle, uh, like we have in our tea, but monk fruit sweetener has erythritol, and some people are very intolerant to that. What do you think of happy egg? I found organic pasture raised at Sprouts. I think they're better than Vital Farm. Uh, it's funny you say that, because in tomorrow's Target video, I talk about them having those at uh, Target, and they're actually cheaper than the non-organic Thrive Market eggs. The German McDonald's has McRib all year round, and they have a- Wow. A bear gas burger. I wow. Know. I think you guys do the A with two dots differently than in Finnish, so I'm no. gonna hold off on pronouncing that because I don't know. Okay, chicken's donezo. What's the word, Rusty? What's the word, my sweet love? You, uh, oh, Robbie says you mean Vital Farms, not Thrive Market Eggs. I, yeah, Vital Farms, I say Thrive Market. Thank you. Do you recommend the eggs from Aldi Cage Free Organic Certified Humane? They are $2.97. If you're at Aldi, yes, but otherwise they're just organic hen house factory farmed eggs. They're not good, but they're the best ones at Aldi. Uh, Lisa it. says, howdy, Dusty, in the background. Hello. Hello. Does the menu board and the hungry sign come with the condo? That's a game changer. Hmm. It's yours. If you it's buy yours. It. If you buy it for the price of, uh, I'm asking you, 550000 it's yours. Which, we actually, the fair market value of the place is five seventy five, but I'm doing five fifty just for Flav City fans. If it goes on the market, I'll raise it up to five seventy five or more. Okay, look at this, all right? Got that beautiful chicken, cheese bread. Do a little shtickle of extra virgin olive oil, and dinner is done. Want some chicken roast? Yeah. Oh, Alexander, that is a Thermomix TM six. Oh man, look at that. My thumb got caught in the pantry door. Now it's bleeding. Oh, man. That's crazy. Like, literally just... Pantry door. Yeah. Got a new knife. No, it was before I got was the knife. Was the knife that got you? No, it wasn't the knife. I'm telling you. That's the weirdest thing. I'm hit. I'm hit, Art. Oh, my God. I'm hit. Oh, dude. That's like, terrible. Go clean up. <laughs> mm. Oh, Gochujang says, I'm actually stumped. And I see nothing to add lemon to. <laughs> Bradley. Do you have any wow. advice for someone who is trying to keep their calories up but avoiding vegetables, dairy, nuts, and eggs? Keep their calories up? Yeah, but they're avoiding uh, vegetables okay. and all that jazz. Um, dairy, nuts, and eggs. Yeah, just eat calorie. Eat a lot of uh, coconut milk, uh, coconut oil, uh, Smoothies. Here, Rosie, try this. Marianne S. wishes you a happy birthday and five dollars and safe travels. Thank you. Appreciate that. Man, I should just hurt myself. That is delicious. Is it hot? <laughs> Chicken is banging. It's hot. That little glaze, I gotta get a bang. Oh my god, it's crazy. Adrian. Totally forgot the best joke here. German McDonald's doesn't even have a quarter pounder, you know, because of the metric system. What's a quarter pounder in grams? Try this, Rosie. Here. Yeah. Some meth. Want some meth? No? What do you want? You want chicken? You want chicken? You don't want your chicken out? Was it too hot? Here, what if I dip your chicken in mash? Try that. Yeah, Lisa Pink. I like Barcelona. FC Barcelona. No. And the Not city, too. <laughs> Man, this thing is really bleeding. I gotta get a band -aid. Ah, thank you, Cena. I look forward to that lesson. Yeah, let me get you down. Come here. Whoa! Yeah, I gotta eat. I'm just gonna band it up. Really? 250 grams, huh? Okay. Yeah, art entertain them. Do you need a tourniquet? No, okay. I'm good. That was a joke for anyone thinking cut thumb was gonna be tourniquet worthy. All right. When did you cut? He cut himself on the. I don't know if he can cut himself. He, the, the drawer did it to him. No, the pantry door pinched my skin and it burst. Yeah. So it's almost not really a cut. It's just like a. I don't know what the medical term is for that. Hemorrhagic contusion. Whatever that means. Sure. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Lest anyone thinks he. Yeah. Didn't turn. It pinched it so hard it just like burst the skin. Very strange. I got quick clot if you need it, but probably not. No, I'm good. 
Oh yeah, Rose is getting anxious. Um, that's it. Uh, we're gonna play it up for Arthur T and Desi and Rose. Tomorrow's my birthday. Desi's making the cake. We got a ton of videos going live this week. Uh, once again, check out the base culture bread. I know it's a little pricey, but with Bobby 20, it's 20% off. Free shipping over 75 bucks. The cheese bread, the raisin bread, the almond butter is great. You will love it. Uh, that's it. Hope you guys had a great time. This was a last minute live stream, but I think we made a great weeknight meal. 1,167 uh, 1, people. I we think have a really good crowd for last minute, but we'll see you on Friday for sure. Maybe Thursday, but for our 30, Desi, Rose, myself, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Man, love. Peace. Later, y'allsies. See ya, and everyone saying happy birthday. Thank you.